We'll start with the topic of diet. Was there something you wanted to? All right. Well, I think that um, very interestingly, uh, in the New York Times, April 13th, Gary Taubes, did anyone see that article? Is sugar toxic? Yeah. Wonderful article. And Dr. Lynchitz and I have been, you know, on the same page uh, of that article for many, many years. And it addresses some of the questions that were just asked. And the article, uh, again, April 13th, 14 pages if you download it. Uh, and it, it talks about how bad sugar is for us. We know that it causes obesity, and obesity in itself has its own problems, increased dementia, increased cancer, heart disease, joint pain, and on and on. Uh, but then the article got into the fact that cancer is increased by sugar. All different forms, too. Right. And high fructose corn syrup, glucose, sugar, those are evil. <coughs> refined carbs and that uh, American diet is about 90 pounds of sugar a year, which is absolutely terrible. And it showed that it, in populations in the Arctic, there were virtually no cancers from 1967 to the 80s. And then when they got polluted with sugar foods, breast cancer rose to the same level as we see it in this country. A direct parallel, a direct causal relation. And there's lots of studies showing that. So having said that, low sugar diets can prevent cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, et cetera. And, they, and also, it was in the Arctic, <clears throat> a big part of the year, they don't have much sunlight. So the people that say it could have been vitamin D, and they have a lot of sun for, I don't know, four or five months, hmm. and then the rest of the year, they don't have a lot of sunlight, where people are spouting vitamin D and being very protected against cancer, which it can be. Well, they eat a lot of fish, which can have vitamin D. I mean, that's a good question yeah. as far as vitamin D goes. But they have a lot, they eat a lot of fish. Vitamin D has a lot of fish. So it might counteract the lack of sun. I don't know. <laughs> they all, make sense. Yeah, and, and they also eat organs of animals who eat fish, too. So some of the mammals, uh, some of the seagoing mammals who eat fish. So there's a tremendous amount of vitamin D in certain foods that we don't even really, really have. But the, but the key thing, I think, you know, focusing on diet, because we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about supplements, is yeah, I agree with, with, uh, Dr. Ta uh, with Gary and Dr. Salazzo, Gary Taub and Salazzo, Dr. Salazzo, that uh, sugar is basically poison. It was never part of our uh, ancestral diet. Um, every once in a while, I imagine our ancestors were able to be brave enough to try to get some honey out of a beehive before getting stung. But I mean, for the most part, there was really nothing in our diets prior to the age of farming that even raised our blood sugar appreciably. And you know, we would eat fruits, but the fruits in olden times were very fibrous and, and had a lot of fiber, very little sugar. Most of what we see here that we call fruit is, is really pretty much hybridized fruit. It's all been designed to become sweeter and sweeter. And why is that? The same reason that cereal manufacturers make their cereals sweeter and sweeter, because we're addicted to sweet. And the more sweet, the more that we buy their stuff, and the more we buy their stuff, the richer they get. So the truth is that most of our diet from about 10,000 years ago on has gotten more and more based on raising the blood sugar. 